Hey everyone, Mike Wolf here. Welcome back to the top 10 mistakes Canadians are making while investing in U.S. real estate. And this is a really big one and one that you can make quite innocently. As a matter of fact, I made this mistake myself way back when I first started investing in the U.S. about seven years ago. And it's using your bank to convert currency and move your money. And when, when I did it this the first time, it seemed like the logical thing to do. My money was sitting in the bank in Canadian funds. I needed to move it to my U.S. bank and have it in American funds. And so obviously people holding your money seem like the logical choice to convert that for you. However, what the banks don't tell you is that they charge you a fee and this fee is substantial. So uh, it could be anywhere from 2 to 5% I've seen. So uh, if you're moving $100,000 Canadian and you want to turn to U.S. money, move it down to the, uh, your American bank account. And let's say our dollars were a par, a dollar is a dollar. You might be surprised when you look at your bank account in the U.S. to find out your hundred thousand turned into ninety-five thousand dollars. So this piece of advice alone could save you tens of thousands of dollars, depending on how much money you're moving uh, back and forth. So using your bank, uh, once again, they're not going to tell you. They're not going to say, "Oh, we're charging you two percent or three percent or five percent fee." They're just going to say, "Okay, our rate today is ninety-seven cents." So the dollar might be a part. They might only be giving you ninety-seven cents, and they're keeping that spread. That's how they make their money. So they're not very transparent about it. They don't say, oh, you might want to go somewhere else to do this. They're not going to tell you that. So what you need to know is that one of the people you want on your team is a currency trader. And I do have a very good one who works for me on all my transactions. Whenever I'm moving money back and forth, uh, she saved me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars over the years. So uh, huge mistake. Very easy to fall into this pitfall if you don't know uh, not to, uh, uh, if you don't know what to do with this. And so very, very important, never use your bank. So what you do with these currency traders basically is you're going to fill out a few pieces of paper. It's very simple. gives them permission to basically uh, move money from your current bank account into their account. And they're going to uh, actually convert it at what the real conversion rate is. So one of the other uh, really cool things that you can do if you have a little bit of time and there's a little bit of risk. So I don't want to make it sound like it's risk free, but let's say our dollar was a par and you didn't need to move the money down for two weeks. You might, you could tell the currency trader, hey, instead of selling it at par, well, uh, set it so that when it hits a dollar one, that's when I want you to sell it. So sometimes you can get an extra, you know, a couple of thousand dollars here and there if the currency is active and, and fluctuating quite a bit. Now, the one uh, caveat I want to put on that is that if it doesn't ever hit a dollar one and then it drops to 99, 98, 97, well, then of course you're going to get less money. So uh, there is, I'm not going to make it sound like it's risk free and it's free money. But I will say that if you have enough time, and if the currency is not going too, too crazy, but it's fluctuating a little bit each day, you might be able to get a little half point bonus or, or full point, depending on how much time you have to play with it. So once again, currency trader is definitely the way to go. Stay away from your bank, and it'll save you a lot of money. And uh, I'm much happier to see my students and my clients with money in their pocket instead of the banks. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.